Shalom. All glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash, that want us to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honors, and blessed salutations to the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that are fighting for this truth and for salvation. All right, this is Yaku Wall, and I want to go into a quick topic, real quick. Uh, basically, the Lord is known by judgment. Uh, and what I mean by that is that soon this world is fixing to remember and acknowledge that there is a higher power that exists. Because when he, when, when, when you have, when you have with Shai, which are the true names, when they return and they come back to, to judge this place, the whole world and all inhabitants are going to know that there was a God, that there was a savior and that the Bible was real. <clears throat> You've got our people, the two thirds, the Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and the rest of the inhabitants of the world, the other nations, the heathen, they, they walk in this, they walk in their lives acting as if there's no power or judgment. And so the Lord is basically the ultimate revealer that that there are consequences for how you live. Now you got in the scripture, I'll use um, before before man, it before man is life. Uh, I want to get this real quick. Let me see. You know what? It may be yeah, right here. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 30 and 19 says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose uh, therefore choose life and, the, and both that both thou and thy seed may live. Now, <clears throat> let me see. There's, there's supposed to be one where it says that to him that liketh shall he be, shall he be given to it. Uh, it might be in the Apocrypha. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. So Rock 15 and 17 says, Before man is life and death, and whether him like it shall be given him. Now this shows you that the Lord does, in fact, judge. He determines, he gives you according to what he determines you know that you like. So if you like death, you're going to receive the things worthy of death. If you like, if you like life, you're going to be get, given the things and the utilities that will help you stay alive. In this case, and will it will always be this? Yahweh Shem Yashai is the way and the life. All right, they are the truth. They are the life. So if you don't conform yourself to this way of living, according to the scriptures, according to the Lord's words, you're going to be killed. You're going to be destroyed. And in more, and the majority of the people in the world. Well, I'll say everybody in the world outside of the truth, uh, they like death. All right. Unless you're an elect and you are drawn into this and you and the Lord seals you up, you prefer death. And that's what I want to talk about, because this world walks in their minds with with the, with the attitude that there's no consequences, that you're just free to live and do what you want. If if, you know, something bad happens, you know, you you uh, you develop a more res resistant attitude and. You know, it can't hold me down, this and that. And, hey, man, the Lord is coming back to judge you for everything you, you have done. Hey, uh, what is the scripture in, um, in uh, let me see. What is the, um, shoot, I'm now drawing a blank. Salakia, man. Oh, every idle word, every idle word. It's in Matthew. <clears throat> Matthew 12, 36 says, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And we already know, man, that the Lord is coming to judge. Um, let's see. It's in 1 Corinthians. <clears throat> oh, no. I know it's a little choppy. So like, I wasn't intending on getting these certain scriptures, but um, let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Is it in Second Corinthians? Let me see. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and go to Google. Sometimes you gotta look that up right there. Every man. I mean, you could use that one, but uh, I'm looking for the one in First Corinthians. 
for every man must appear before the judgment seat, I believe. Ah, it's a lucky, man. Oh, for we for we must all appear. There we go. Second Corinthians 5 and 10 says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to the according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. And this is a true statement. The Lord is coming to judge everybody. And he's going to be made known through that way. Because this whole world, again, through your actions, through your mentality, you say with your with your with your with your existence that there is no God. Well, the Lord is fixing to come and put that all in place and put you back in order and reprove. All right, because essentially the Lord is all about judgment, and everybody thinks that you know there's no such thing as a judgment anymore. And so, times are coming where it's going to be made known. And this is how it says Psalms 9 and 16. It says, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. Everybody's going to feel it. Every single spirit that walks this planet Earth is going to know and see Yahweh Bashem Yashai when they are judged. Whether it's to everlasting life or everlasting contempt. All right. It says, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hagayan Salat. So, hey amen. Whether you're wicked or whether you're righteous, you're going to be judged. Essentially, everything the Lord does is judgment. And that's why I had the scripture um, in blue letter. Right, let me go back and get it. Deuteronomy 32 and 4, it says, He is the rock. All right, I'll go ahead and click it. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a power of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. So, hey, man, you, you know, you've been trying to put this off for a long time as if that day is never going to come where you're going to have to meet your maker where the Lord is coming back to do that. All right. Israel in all in whole was supposed to be known as a nation of judgment because they represent the Most High and, and Yahweh Shai. But again, like uh, Isaiah 59 says, uh, there is no judgment in this place. Let me see. Isaiah 59 and 8 says, The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whoso and, and how have they made crooked paths? By acting as if there's no if, as if you don't if there's no consequences. And so there's one out there, man. He's all about, he's all about judgment. He's all about actions. All right. Because this world, man, just talks a lot of hot, just talks smoke and they blow hot air and nothing ever is done or changed. Nothing ever gets better. Nothing ever, you know, gets put in order. It just stays the same, like an, like an ever swirling toilet that just won't flush. And so the Lord is coming to flush this toilet. <laughs> America is that great big toilet. All right. The place where there was no judgment is going to be filled with judgment. All right. Should be in Psalms, I think the ninth chapter. Yep. Uh Psalms 9 is uh 7. It says, But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. And we already know that's what the most high is coming to bring. Judgment. It says, And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. So everything's gonna be put back into order. The wicked are going to be put down. All right. Like it says right here, uh, their destructions have come to a perpetual end. It will, like we read a minute ago, uh, the wicked is snared in the net that he have made. All right. So, but the righteous are going to be saved and we're going to be put back into and established on the top. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, what is that? So, uh, X. Uh, let's see. I'll just type a pointed. Should be an X. Uh, let's see. Acts 17 and 26. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not it. That's a lot here. Right here in Acts 17 and 31, it says, Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness 
by that man whom he had ordained. See, the, the ones that you didn't think were about judgment, the ones that you didn't think that, you know, they were the type to uh to uh really assert dominance and a uh, uh, a ruling mentality. Those are the ones that's the one that's going to come back and, and reprove you before your eyes. Like it says in Psalms 50, which I'm going to get. But that man is who? Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It says, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, and that he hath raised them from the dead. So to prove ultimately that the power did exist. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai was still there and they, were still, they, were, they did exist. All right. So, you know, you could put it off as much as you want or try to deny it. It ain't going to change the fact that there's something coming. And, and and for the the greasy grimy way that you lived your whole life, man, you're going to pay for it. All right, your hard looks, your scoffing, your scorning, your backbiting, you know, just all out bad behavior, man, is going to be judged. You're going to receive a consequence. All right, the Lord said He frames a device against this world, in which you should not be able to remove your neck from. All right, so that power is coming to put this uh, out, put all that evil behavior behind. This is Sirach 16 and 11. It says, and if there be one stiff necked among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. Because, I, hey, man, you've been we've been living in a long time, a couple generations, man, where people are just getting away with their shit. Uh, what was that Solomon said in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes? He said there was a there was a thing under the sun that I have seen. Uh, it was a vexation of his spirit where the wicked would prosper and the righteous would fail. This world has been living in a place where, hey, man, the, the wicked survive. And that's why it's a marvel because, hey, uh, well, also there was another, there's another uh, parable where Solomon spoke. It said he had seen under the sun as if it were an error. Because <laughs> he knew, he was like, what the, he was like, what? This ain't right. Wait a minute, that, that evil man just got away with this shit. How come? Hey, man, like we just read in Acts, the 17th chapter, there is a day appointed wherein the Lord is going to come back and put all that shit back down in order. And we're very close. And a lot of you people, man, are going to feel it. You're going to feel that judgment in a horrible way. The scriptures say, man, because you have benefited off the Lord and his mercy that he put out on the earth, that you used it, you, you abused it. You used it to your own advantage instead of getting right. So the Lord is going to reprove your eyes. It says again, and if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. So both sides of judgment are going to be displayed on this planet upon the inhabitants. And which one will you find, man? We already know majority of the world is going to be poured out on displeasure. All right. Only the elect are going to be forgiven. And then I want to get my last scripture. In Psalms <clears throat> uh, 15 and 21, it says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. And I thought that I was altogether such as one as thyself. You, you, you grew this mentality where you thought the Lord was cool. Or he just letting man do what they got to do to just, you know, just, he just left man to, to uh, live how they were going to live. That's not how, it, and that's not how it works, man. There's been a power that's been watching every single thing, man. You know, I was thinking about uh, earlier I was eating, you know, I went to go get something to eat and I started thinking about, you know, sand, the grains of sand. And I was thinking about how the Lord, even to the smallest grain of sand, the Lord numbered. And, you know, I thought about melting that grain of sand. Could you melt it away? It's impossible because sand turns to what when you melt it? Glass. So you, you melt it enough. It's still going to be there, though, still, no matter what you do. So that was just, you know, I was thinking about, you know, the marvelous, the marvel, the, the, the greatness and majesty of the Lord, man. You can't destroy anything here, but the Lord is going to come to destroy you. All right. Right now, you, you're, you're thriving in what you do. You, you know, you, you're hey, the scriptures. What did they say in Sirach, the 47, 41st chapter and seventh verse that, um, if you increase, it would it shall be to your destruction because you thought the whole time that you were in good standings with the Most High. If you thought, if you believed there was one, but even if you believed there wasn't one, you still thought you were okay. You thought you were secure, and the Lord's about to turn that all around. It says, "Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee 
and set them in order before, before thine eyes. The power is going to come back and he's going to set everything back in the way that it should have been from the very beginning. Israel, Yasha'ala, will be reestablished, which is going to be the righteous. And we're going to be put back in the, in the, um, on top. And we're going to rule the world in righteousness and the universe. And everything is going to thrive the proper way. The wicked, verse 22 says, Now consider, consider this, ye that forget the Most High, at least I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. The wicked are going to be put out. All right, the scripture says the light will be put out. And there will, be, there will be no memorial of them. All right. Everything's going to be put back into harmony and peace. That's ultimately what we're coming to restore, man, is peace. But it's going to be, a hey, like like the how like Yahweh Shai had said a lot of times, man, different through diverse ways. Certain things got to happen first. And pursuing to second edges of fourth chapter, this place has to be turned upside down, man, viciously. It calls America a threshing floor, man, which with the threshing floor, you, you, you tread down and then you burn it. So that's what's coming. But the Lord is known through judgment and he will be known. Everybody will know Yahweh and Yahweh Shai when he comes to, to do what he's going to do. But with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, Barakatam, that want us to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and much love, honor and blessings to the elect. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barakatam, Kwam Shalom.